10 years ago I was a team leader in a European Union funded project on sustainable development. And we wrote a national strategy for sustainable development for Kyrgyzstan. Whoa, that's very abstract. So we thought let's also do something uh, more uh, practical. And we chose a village to also write a strategy for sustainable development. And we chose Grigorievka. You know, it's nice to have a strategy, but who is going to implement it? And then I thought, let me do it myself. The community should benefit from all the things, the nature and the things that are around here, from their territory, actually. And second thing is, uh, beautiful nature here should be conserved. Jan is a social enterprise, started in 2013 and uh, we had these two houses which I bought as an investment for this strategy on sustainable development and um, that was nothing when, we, when I bought it. We started thinking what is important, uh, how can you actually make money here and at the same time conserve uh, the nature. We think Okay, there is tourists uh, who like nature, but they also like culture. And on the other hand, there are locals, the local community, uh, with extreme hospitality, who have something to offer, their homes, you know, to show their way of life. And that's a combination we make. So tourists who come and have an interest in you know, going, go walking in the mountains or go to the lake, the Isiku Lake, uh, they also have an interest in seeing how people live. So we send them to the neighbors for dinner or for lunch, or we have one of the neighbors going with them as a guide in the mountains. Apart from the beautiful nature in this Isiko region, uh, actually this is a biosphere reserve, UNESCO biosphere reserve. Apart from that, uh, there's a lot of fruit trees and all the families have fruit trees in their garden and they sell the fruits. But as you know, fruits are ripe at the same time and they cost nothing because there's a lot of them. So raspberries and apricots, apples, pears, they, they are sold at the same time for nothing. And there's a lot of intermediate business transport from Grigorevka to uh, the capital Bishkek. And when, you know, uh, the berries are twice or three times as much in value. So uh, what we think, okay, that's on the one hand, we have a lot of fruit and we have people in need of extra income. So why can't we get value on the place, in the place? So what we try to do is um, process fruits, dry them uh, so that they can be sold also in winter, but also make products out of them. As for example, these hikers foods so that they can be sold at a better price. Uh, and all of this is in order to uh, have community benefit from their territory. Another thing I dream about is that uh, the things that we try to show that there's people in the village that uh, will follow that. Uh, so on the one hand all the environmental friendly things that we try to show, building a plastic bottle greenhouse or building a solar dryer and that people think oh well that's easy, it doesn't cost too much and it gives a lot, it brings a lot. 
uh, so that, uh, that our examples will be followed, but also that people start thinking about really about sustainable development. Oh, wow, it's possible to have uh, long-term thinking and also make a lot of money or make money and make a living. Uh, actually, I, it will take some time, but uh, that's what I really hope for the future.